crafty friends welcome to today's video it's yellow day in rainbow week slash fortnight today i made an easter card using yellow inks gold embossing powder because in my mind gold is yellow and some easter egg dies my original intention was to make a fun easter card for my niece or my nephew who are young children but i think this isn't quite fun enough for them so I'm going to send this one to a grown up, I think. I might send it to my mum because she asked me the other day if I was going to make any Easter cards. So I think she might appreciate this card. Right, that's enough waffling from me. Let's get on with the process. For step one, I'm going to prepare my mixed media. So I'm going to do some smushing on this mixed media paper, starting with Distress Oxide in Squeeze Lemonade. So put it on the mat, give it a squirt with water it up with my smusher and smush it on. If you want to know how to make a smusher there is a video linked above and down below. I'm not covering the whole thing, I want white peeking through. Now I'm going to give this a really good blast with my hair dryer because I want the squeeze lemonade layer to be dry before I put the scattered straw on because I don't want them to mix and mingle, I want them to layer. If you find that your paper curls when you heat it, you can always heat it from the back and that should flatten it out a bit. I do want to stamp on this, so I do want it to be flat so the stamping works well. Having said that, I'm just gonna add some more liquid anyway with my next round of smushing. So there is the smushed background, all nice and dry, and you can see the two different yellows in there, which I think works well. So I want to stamp on some of this background, and I'm then going to cut out my Easter eggs. But I don't need to put the whole lot in my stamp platform. So I'm going to cut about that much stick that in there. I'm using this stamp platform today because it's got a grip mat in it and that's going to hold down my warped paper really well. And I've got some strips of patterns here. I've got polka dot, I've got random different size circles and a floral band. These are silicon stamps and I think I picked these up in a charity shop so no idea what brand they are. So if you want to do this, just use whatever you've got in your stash. And I'm going to cut just the middle row. So some of these are embossed, but some of them are empty. And I've got three there that are empty. And that's going to allow me to cut some of the pattern once I have heat embossed on it, because that's what I'm going to do next. So I can pick up my stamps, treat this with a bit of corn flour. So there's nothing there for embossing powder to stick to where I don't want it. And then give this a good inking with embossing ink. And then I can press it down. I'm going to do a second lot, especially on this one with the larger circles to make sure it's got a good, good layer of ink on it. Now I can put that in my embossing powder. That looks like pretty good coverage to me. Now I'm gonna heat it with my heat tool. So there is my lovely bit of heat embossing. Now in recent videos, I've said that I prefer to die cut then heat emboss because the die cutting process can squish your embossing a bit and dull it down a bit but i don't really have a lot of choice with this particular die because they're so small it's going to be a nightmare to die cut and then emboss these on these tiny little die cuts so i'm doing it this way around with these 
But to protect the front of my heat embossing, I'm going to just put a little bit of card over the apertures there. So I want to line that up so these eggs get some pretty flower patterns in them. Pop that there on my folder. Put these this rather piece of card over i don't think it's going to be much of a problem with this particular die because they seem quite deep uh, so i think the embossing will be protected fairly well but but i'm adding a little bit of uh, card there just to be on the safe side and yep there we go that looks fine so i'll do the rest just select what i want peeking through Pop my card over, pop it in the sandwich thing. So now I've got nine little yellow Easter eggs with some gold detailing on them. So I'm going to cut a panel with this rectangle die. Protect the front again from the scratches on the folder. So this is hammered white cardstock to give my card and panel a bit of texture. And I'm going to make an aperture in this using all nine of my little Easter eggs. I'm going to mark the middle just to help me get everything straight. No, that's the wrong way up. So that spot there is bang in the middle. So if I put that bang in the middle of my middle egg, we should be in about the right place, I think. Yeah, that looks good to me. And I'm going to pop one of my sticky notes on top to protect it, but also to hold my die in place while I run it through my machine. Yes, that looks about right to me. Now, I want to mount this on here and give it a little yellow frame. So, a bit of tacky glue. my deli paper press that down and I'm going to use my guillotine to trim a little border And to make that panel, the frame bit, look as if it's been die cut, I'm just going to run this embossing tool to bevel the edge. And then I'm going to insert my eggs. So I'm just going to add some glue in here. Out to the edges a bit so the whole eggs stick down and I'm going to mix and match my patterns Right, press that down with the jelly paper. So my card blank is four and a half by seven inches. I was going to do five by seven inches, but I think the proportions work better with this here. I'm going to pop this up on foam. Gonna pop it roughly in the middle, 2.3, like that. That's about right. 
So for my sentiment, I'm going to die cut out of this yellow again. So it's going to say Happy Easter. Um, I'm going to start with the word Easter. I will pop a little bit of double sided on the back so the letters come out sticky. I need to run the E through again because Easter has two E's. So I'm thinking I might just stamp the word happy next to the word Easter. So I think if I get that right, let's get that Easter there. That looks about the right place. I will use my T-square ruler to get it lined up nicely. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to put the happy there. So the H comes out the same distance roughly as the R, and that will balance it nicely. The happy, I think, looks like it should go uphill a bit, so we'll do that. Even though I've got that up on craft foam, I think I should be able to stamp fine. <laughs> Famous last words. And I think I'll try the scattered straw. Yeah, I'm going to do that delicately, just give it a few goes and build up the stamp. I don't want to get any ink on this, so I'm making sure this bit here stays clean. Hold that down, give it a chance to transfer. Right, we're getting there, we're almost there. Yes, I think that will do. I like that. Now, my brain is saying, finishing touches, finishing touches. But I don't think we need anything else, do we? I think anything else will just clutter it. There's a bit of muck there. So I'll just wipe that off with a damp baby wipe and leave it. But I think that is it. Right, I'm happy with that. I like the way that's turned out. And I just love that little splash of yellow. It's a very sunshiny card, very Eastery. Right, I hope you've enjoyed the video and that you've picked up a few ideas or some tips along the way. If you'd like to see more from me, do subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I will see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.